What is up and welcome back to the Sounders career. Now I was taking a look through the comments of the first episode and I saw a comment that said to bring back the MLS Super Draft, which is an interesting idea and it's something unique to MLS, which I do like. However, I don't have the cheat engine for FIFA because of EA's new anti-cheat and the Super Draft is based off of potentials. So I don't know the potentials of these players, but it is something we could bring back in a slightly different form so let me know in the comments, should we use the Super Draft to bring up Youth Academy players? Or should we just use it as a normal Youth Academy and call up players whenever we want? So we jump straight into the first game today, our first away match of the season, away a Rio Tinto to take on RSL. This might be a slightly more hostile environment than normal given that we've taken Albert Rusnak and Justin Glad from them. Jao Paulo showing for the... Did Jao Paulo just... Okay, that was... It, it... Calculated by Xiao Paulo. Oh, it was open for us that got through. Xiao Paulo literally passed the ball to himself. And it somehow sprung us for a, a, an opportunity. But unfortunately, it was the 16-year-old Obed Vargas. Uh-oh. Yamar. Oh, good save, Steph. Holy sh What a shot. Can we get this ball out of our own box? And Jordan Morris is already hurt. It's the second game of the season. Fry has to make another save for 16 minutes in. I, we've made three saves, and we lost J Jordan Morris. Maybe. Potentially. I don't actually know where he is. Ooh, mistake from them. Real snack. Lays it for Rui Diaz. Oh, there's a lot of shots coming in early in this game. Out wide for Yedlin. Yedlin. Near post. There's Real snack. Settle it. Shoot! Real snack. Shoot, bro! It's like he didn't want to shoot against his former team, bro. You got to put that in the back of the net. Oh, no. Christian, you got to get back. You gotta get back. Oh, no, he didn't get back. Oh, Yamar. What a save from Stefan Fry. Yamar got completely lost in the 18-yard box. I had no idea who he was marking there. Oh, no. Oh, I, that, I messed that up. Oh, no. Oh, the cross is going to come in. Oh, Stefan Fry had another huge save. Yedling. Back for Rusnak. Finds it to Nico. Nico Ladero. Nicholas Ladero off the bench. Puts it top bins and the Sounders have the late lead. That's why we're not getting rid of Nico. He still has that magic in him. And we need that magic. Woo, Nico Ladero, my man. And there is the final whistle straight from kickoff. Another three points for Seattle. Oh, Nico bailed us out so hard right there. But my man of the match, got to go to Stefan Fry. He made like five incredible saves. We come back home for the next one to take on the LA Galaxy. Morris is okay. The injury wasn't a bad one. He's fully fit and just signed a new contract. So we locked him up for the next three years. Everything's looking good for us right now. Corner for LA Galaxy in the mix. Joe Stefan Fry. He's 35 years old, but he's playing out of his mind. Jao Paulo. Ball up here. Obed for Morris. Morris through beautifully for Raul. Rui Diaz. And he ain't gonna miss from there. One on one. I'm banking on Rui Diaz to hit the back of the net. And he does. One-nothing early to Seattle. I will say there's been a lot more space to operate against this LA Galaxy team than there was against RSL. That RSL team, very solid defensively. Ooh, nice pass. Uh-oh, that's a problem. Oh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. That's a good ball movement, though, from LA Galaxy. That's moved it so fast we couldn't recover. And Victor Vasquez, I almost called him Victor Valdez. Victor Vasquez scores for LA Galaxy. Uh, they put the ball in the box, in the air, like that. We lose the header nine times out of ten. Oh, we don't want to put the ball back there. All right, that was just, that was a mistake by our youngster, Obed Vargas. We do not want to be heading the ball back into our own box right there. That was just, that was a mistake. It was an accident. Youngster's going to have to learn from that one. Oh, they're working this well. They're just, we're just overloaded on this side. Glad there to block that shot we just can't get anywhere near the ball oh glad doesn't block that but stefan fry another huge save from him morris coming forward rusnak forward for rui diaz who is carrying an injury though rui diaz stops lays it back jordan morris puts it in the back of the net it wasn't a convincing shot by any means 
But he put it where the keeper wasn't. It's good enough. And we found the equalizer. Oh, that was such a sketchy shot from Jordan. Might have time for one more attack. We gotta have to go kind of quick here. Morris to Ladero. Looking for options in there. Ladero finds it across for Rusnak. Rusnak shoots. Ah, oh, it's right down the middle. Follow up, Jordan! Right at the keeper again! All right, last chance for us on this corner. Jao Paulo finds Jordan in there. Jordan can't get a jump. Keeper's gonna catch. I will have to settle for the 2-2 draw. We might be kind of lucky to come away with anything, anything from that. LA Galaxy just shoved the ball down our throats in the second half. Up next for us, we have a little road trip down to Texas to take on Austin. And we're gonna have to rotate the team a little bit. I wanna get Alex Roll down the game. He hasn't played yet this season, so we'll put him in there at right back. We're gonna start Nico in this one as well in place of Rusnak. And Rui Diaz picked up a slight knock against LA Galaxy. He's available off the bench, but we're gonna start Montero for this one. Corner here for Austin. Never like to see corners. Good job, Jordan, to get that away. And then Jao Paulo, and then Jordan. Oh, that was a clash of heads. And look, Jordan Morris is down again. Oh, we have picked up three injuries in three games to our strikers alone. What are the odds of that? And that's going to be a goal for Austin. Man, we've been unlucky early with these damn injuries. What a good tackle, though. Beautifully done. Freddy Montero is onside. Freddy off the underside of the crossbar and in. Assist for Jordan. And we found a bit of a bit of a lucky equalizer. It was a good play from Yamar to step up and intercept that pass. And then just instant offense after that. Morris takes a touch away. Gets that to Alex Roldan. Alex find a ball. There it is. Nico a finish. Yes, Nico follows it up and puts it in the back of the net. This has been a very scrappy game. Austin's first goal was scrappy. Our second goal was very scrappy. It's been pretty sloppy from both sides, but we, right now we're, we've got a lead. Play it back. Let's be smart. Alex back in for Nico. Referee! Disgusting slide tackle from behind by Alex Ring through the back of Nicholas Ladero. It's not even a yellow card! Not even a yellow! I thought he was gone! He, he wasn't anywhere near the ball! Oh, no. Oh, that's, that's too easy. Steph bailed us out. How many times have I said Steph has bailed us out in this episode alone? Let's see if Nico can find the back of the net with this one. Can he curl it around? He does! Nicholas Ladero! At some point, we're going to have to ask the question of maybe we should start Nico instead of Rusnak. I, I, we might already be there, but I don't know. Let me know. Should we start Albert? Should we start Nico? It's a tough call. Oh, what a ball through. Nico on to Obed Vargas? Who is that? Oh, it's Danny Leva. I forgot I brought Danny Leva on. We kind of switched up a bit more defensive. Got Morris off because he got that injury. I forgot Danny Leva was on the field. Go on, Danny. He scores a goal, and it's 4-1 Seattle. Ref. Referee. That is the second one from Ring. He just got a yellow. That should have been at least his second yellow. The first one looked like it should have been a straight red. That one wasn't even much better. It's the it's, He should have two red cards. Uh oh. Well, that's a good ball. Yo, the finish. Is that Driussi again? It was. That was a disgusting finish. I don't know what he's celebrating for. It's 4-2 it's, it's and it's the 91st minute. But that was a great finish. Christian coming forward. Freddy spins away. Ah, he gets just grabbed and tripped. And this ref has been just... This ref has been shambolic. But we come out of this with three points. Uh, I don't know how many healthy strikers we have left. Thankfully, we didn't have to use Rui Diaz. He was able to sit this one out and rest a little bit. We have to see what the injury is to Morris. He was holding his hamstring. That's probably not good. And it is indeed bad news for Jordan Morris. He picked up a sprained knee. He's going to be missing a month. And I'm not really sure where that leaves us as far as how we're going to line up in our formation. Because I'm not putting Rui Diaz and Freddie Montero out there together. They don't work together. So this is kind of what I've come up with without Morris. We're going to switch back to one striker. We're going to go with a 4-4-1-1 and we'll see how it goes. I'm actually going to sim this game against Minnesota and see how we get on 
and we lose two. You know what? Two one on the road in Minnesota. That's not half bad. Nico is kind of carrying us right now. That part is a little bit worrying. And that loss actually drops us into second place behind LAFC. Only two unbeaten teams left in the Western Conference. LAFC, no surprise there. And Houston sitting in fifth place. Kind of a surprise there. In the Eastern Conference, also two unbeaten teams. Atlanta United, five wins from five. That's a little terrifying considering we play them in the U.S. Open Cup next. And then New York Red Bulls sitting in third. So... Pretty, pretty standard stuff. In the, DC United is in fourth place. Okay, there's some weird stuff going on in the league this year. But that is where we're going to end things for today. Like I said, we will start off next episode against Atlanta in the U.S. Open Cup. I think we're on the road for that one as well. Yikes. And uh, then we'll just get back to business in, in the MLS. So that's it for this one. If you did enjoy it, make sure to let me know by leaving a like below. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you when we come back for some more Seattle Sounders career. See ya.